Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Bella with Bella Hitana Tarot, uh, bringing you guys the reading for the collective. I hope you guys are doing well. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, in case you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to keep up with <laughs> what uploads I got going on, definitely hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified when I do future uploads. And yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and do a reading. What's going on with the Divine Masculine? We're going to find out what is he struggling with just to see, you know, what what's making him be so cold-blooded. I'm going to call this video, Why is he cold-blooded? <laughs> so I just had that idea because I saw this card uh, from this deck here that said cold-blooded. So it just kind of inspired me. All right, so let's go and get started. First card out the deck is Butcher Knife, Run for the Hills, Take Cover, Escape. Okay, so I'm getting here that this is what he does whenever he feels something, he perceives something as a threat. He just decides, okay, I got to get away from this situation, take cover. He just can't face it, so he just decides to escape. And then we have Jack-O-Lantern, uh, Warding Off Evil, Light Guidance. So I feel like this person you know your divine masculine didn't have um the guidance that he needed to be able to decipher like why is it that he needed to get away from whatever he felt was a threat which i'm guessing is you know the connection that he has with you divine feminine so let's just see what else comes out vampire bloodthirsty draining parasite so what i'm getting here right away is that the divine masculine perceives your connection as draining um, maybe it took a lot of energy out of him. He just felt like he was per perceiving it as you were probably going to drain him. <laughs> so, um, and it could be that he just didn't feel like his cup was full. And that's why if your cup is not full, then you're not going to be able to have anything left to give, right? And bottom of the deck here says, soaked in blood, evidence, crime, prosecution. So, he knows that he left this evidence, you know, that he left you basically for dead in this connection and he just didn't want to deal with it. We're going to get to the bottom of that as to why. So then we have asylum. This person, they have, they have mental health issues, okay, when it comes to connections overall. So this is what he's dealing with, you know, he just feels like he's very unstable as it is. So therefore, in order to be in a connection, it would just be chaos for him. Even though he sees you as his life partner, you know, the perfect mate, this person has some issues to deal with. What else, Spirit? So we have body snatchers, aliens, abduction, overpowered. Yeah, because your person's unstable, so he just feels like he would be overpowered you know, if he was to be in the connection, this is why I feel like he's feeling, he's feeling like this will drain him because he doesn't have his own um, strength, like his own ability to stand strong on his own two feet. So he feels like you would take over his uh, aura in a way to where he would lose himself with you in the connection. Then we have Mystical Witch, spellbinding, enchanting, alluring. Okay, it's funny that I said that he would lose himself because he will feel like he's under your spell. Like he's so attracted to you, so enchanted by you, that he would feel like you would snatch his life force. <laughs> is what I'm getting here. So let's just see what the tarot was going on. Why is Butcher Knife here? Run for the hills, take cover, escape. What is that about? Yeah, we have the full journey of darkness. So when it comes to having a new beginning with you, Feminine, he just runs for the hills. He just does not want to go towards a new beginning. He just decides to walk off on his own, on his own journey. Okay, because this is the four of swords. Okay, so this person needed to do some healing. He feels like you would wash him up, you know, and spit him out. If he was to be in the connection with you, and this is why he decides to run for run for cover. And we ended up getting two here. So we have five of rage, 
Pyromaniac, and the Eight of Decay, which is, this is the Five of Wands, and this is the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm getting here that your person perceives you as somebody who would um, unleash something on them, like your rage, because, you know, if there's any conflict or anything like that, uh, I feel like any type of conflicts your person has had has drained him of his energy and that's how I, that's how he perceives your situation that if you guys ever run into any issues or any conflict that he would be dealing with something that will burn him alive basically um and then eight of pentacles is his immediate reaction like i gotta get out of this you know fiery situation because it drains me so he just doesn't know how to deal with conflict and therefore he ends up abandoning ship you know like he feels like this is um he's not capable i feel like he doesn't have the tools to know how to deal with conflict and so this is why he runs because he doesn't know how to communicate how to handle you know differences or different viewpoints he just doesn't know how to handle it so instead he plays mind games to kind of keep things on the surface to not you know, to not have to deal with conflict. This is the Page of Swords. So, you know, this is how he thinks in his own way of how to avoid conflict is to play these mind games, you know, kind of like passive aggressive energy so that he doesn't have to deal with, you know, conflict or somebody um, draining his energy. That's how he stays um, safe. Okay. So why is Asylum here? The Tower. <laughs> Yeah, so this person has issues with the way that they see relationships. You know, the tower is about having to change your belief system because of divine intervention. So I feel like your connection really um, created a tower moment for your person where they realized that they, they were very unstable and that they probably didn't see commitment until they got with you is when they started opening their eyes and realizing that they need to heal uh, their mental state when it comes to relationships because he just looks at it as the end of the times like the end of their own life almost like just very negative is how he perceives it yeah so he feels blocked okay the chariot like he just perceives it as something that would just not be moving forward, that it would be like where he would be stuck and not being able to move or, or talk or anything. Um, I feel like he doesn't feel like he would be free in a connection. So that's why he decides to escape because he doesn't feel like he, in the past he has not felt like he could feel free with somebody. So that's why he runs. <clears throat> um, then we have justice when it comes to feeling overpowered. Okay, because that's what I was saying earlier. I feel like he would feel like he's feeling like somebody has over like power over him and this would be unfair to him. And so therefore he decides to run so that he doesn't feel like he's being corrupted in a way. And then we have the page of wands here, Emperor Rage, Temper Tantrum. So I feel like your person may have acted very immature whenever he um, left the situation. He he knew that he needed to transform the way that he sees uh, relationships. But with you, they just felt like, like they were too m immature to deal with it. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, look at this. They were being a tyrant. Six of Wands. Instead of moving forward and doing what they needed to do to be to make the right decision and be fair they just didn't so when it comes to you mystical witch alluring your person sacrificed your connection they made you the sacrificial lamb okay they let go of this connection because it was either you or them and they decided to pick themselves and it was unfortunate the wheel misfortune because they were miserable in their own energy. And so this had to end. This had to, this is the, the wheel is for endings too. 
So this basically created a an ending to your connection because this person could not get past their mental blocks, okay? So let's get some um let's get some tea on this and see what else comes out. Why is butcher knife here, spirit? Wow. Parting of the ways in either romance or business, okay? This is why your person ran for the hills because they could not be in this connection with you and they broke it. They ended up going off on their own, taking a leap of faith to escape the connection to go off on their own and do something different. Bottom of the deck here says guarantee success. So I felt like they felt when they made this move, uh, away from you that they were going to have success somewhere else okay and when it comes to draining bloodthirsty parasite we have wind chimes peace and harmony so what i'm getting here is that they went towards their own peace and harmony because they felt like like i was saying earlier this connection was draining them so they escaped so that they can be at peace because they, they felt like they couldn't handle the conflict. The potential of having conflict. You know, because the way that they, they perceive relationship is conflict. Because that's all they've known. Okay. And look at this. We have bottom of the deck is career. So, I feel like your person decided to focus on their career. And that's what they went towards. Instead of relationships. Like, they rather work on the material world instead of working on relationships. That's what what that's what they're bloodthirsty for. It's you know making money. That's what gives them peace and harmony. Okay. So when it comes to asylum mental health disorder unstable, we have unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So I feel like your person's higher self knows to uh use the intuition to make beneficial changes, but his ego is needing help with being able to discern what is ego and what is your higher self. And so this is why it, this is a wish, you know, unicorns is about making a wish, being, um, hoping that things can change. And so I feel like when your person grows in a sense, that's when they'll be able to be connecting to their higher self. So that way they can make beneficial changes and not be in this unstable energy. Bottom of the deck says bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. Okay. But I take that as somebody that's going to be able to come into their abundance when they finally um, connect to their higher self. Okay. So why is body snatchers here? Spirit with aliens abduction and overpowered new creative ideas new ventures a fresh start okay so i feel like your person self-sabotages because uh having a new venture a fresh start seems alien to them and they just have a very negative mindset and so anytime that there's happiness in the horizon they feel like they're not ready for it because they, they're probably so used to being miserable that anything that's remotely bright or happy or lighthearted is just not for them. They, they feel like if they try to tap into that energy, that something's going to come in and take it away and, and snatch it away from them. Okay. So this is part of their belief system. That's really something that they need to grow. Bottom of the deck, we have Axe forces working against you exactly like I was saying this person has a belief that somebody's going to come in and take away what's there so so your person had fears that somebody was going to take away their sunshine which was you okay yeah look at this January below that so this could have happened in January where things ended or in the winter time where you guys had to like end things or maybe generates a significant month for you guys. Take it how it resonates. But let's see what else. Why is the fool here? Journey of darkness. Why is the fool here? Journey of darkness. Okay. 
Dealings or relationships with a man with dark complexion or hair. So this is just your person, you know. Basically, this is him. He just basically runs from a new beginning because he's afraid of of having something good and then it ends due to past hurts. And then we have the stork here, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Yeah, so when something new comes into his life, they just end it because they don't want to be tempted. Temptation will test you. Romance is in the air, see? So any any time that there's romance in the air or something hopeful or something beautiful, they see it as, oh no, this is like the apple, the forbidden apple. They just feel like they're um, kept away from their own blessing. But that's because of their belief system. Okay? So let's see. Why is Five of Wands here with the Eight of Pentacles? Position of authority. Okay. So this chair is empty. So I feel like until your person grows to be able to look at relationships differently, that it should bring peace and harmony and not the opposite, the only then that's when your person can finally step into their, you know, King of Pentacles energy, the Emperor energy, so that way they can um, not be afraid and be balanced so that they will end the cycle. The eight here is the end of a cycle. But this is the cycle that they're in right now. Look at this. Bottom of the deck. Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. <laughs> okay, so... I feel like this is their ego letting them know, be careful, don't take risks because this is how it's ended in the past and you have the authority to, you know, say no to this. Even though it might bring you peace and harmony, it's only going to be for so long and then somebody's going to take it away. Okay. So let's see, why is the tower here with the end times? Wow, we got peacock and cracked cup. Beware of great pride and dissatisfaction with life. Okay. So interesting because I was saying earlier, this person is working out of their ego. And this is basically confirming that when the tower moment came to make a decision, this person panicked. They already felt miserable. You saw that card, miserable, loves company. Um, so they were dis dissatisfied with their life and because of that they just ended it because they don't believe that they deserve good things coming because they probably feel like they break things you know that they would end up breaking this relationship anyways or you would end up breaking them so they were just being prideful and just said no I can't do this you look at this because you brought them great happiness okay you really did and so this person is not used to that. They're used to drama. That's what they're used to. Wow. Okay. So why is justice here, spirit? Wow. Happiness and well-being. So I feel like this person had the opportunity for happiness and do things right and be fair to you, but they were corrupted, okay, because of their belief system. They needed to to heal these past wounds and you know stop thinking that the same thing's going to happen to them with your new relationship it ended up affecting your relationship because they were not letting go of the of the past from before they even met you look at this ink pot problems to be resolved this is a whole mess right here so i feel like this was not resolved within themselves and therefore it affected the potential outcome for you guys to be happy because this person was not well, not well mentally. We saw they needed to take care of their mental health. They're unstable. Okay. So why is hangman here? Spirit with sacrificial lamb. Lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Wow. So interesting because the light the lightning is about it's pretty much like a tower moment lightning strikes and it changes things completely you start seeing the truth the hangman is also about 
seeing things from a different perspective. And I feel like your person had to let go of your connection because they did not want to end up saying something that would end up hurting you more. And so they ended up, you know, cutting off the connection, putting it on hold. Bottom of the deck here says someone's working against you behind your back. So your person felt like even though you were very alluring, very welcoming, very enchanting, um, they just felt like something was going to come out of nowhere, like lightning was going to strike them, and then they would have to wake up from this from this dream that they were in, dream world that they were in with you. And they would become the sacrificial lamb. So instead of that happening, they try to get one step ahead of it and say, oh, no, that's not going to be me. I'd rather remove myself from the situation before it all if before it all crumbles down, right? Look at this. Right below rat was new home, new attitude, cleaning, okay? So this person, your person needed to go ahead and clean up their their act, the way that they think if they want to have a new home, a new attitude to be able to make their way back to you. But when they think like that, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's really not. So let's just get some Oracle cards to see what else needs to come forward. What else? Why is this person cold spirit? We have addicted. And artificial heart. Wow. Okay, so I feel like your person is addicted to to having pain in their life so much so that they don't even oh they're not even aware that they're inflicting their own pain because of their habits. Okay, and and they have had so much pain in their life. That they numb their own heart to where they don't even feel it anymore. Is what I'm getting here. We have 11 and a 12 here. That's a progression. They were addicted to the pain. And they did so much of that. Like self-sabotage. That they don't even feel the pain that they're inflicting upon themselves anymore. This is the hangman energy. Oh my God, are you seeing this? You guys, 11 and 12. <laughs> Your person was corrupted because they were addicted to this pain. They were addicted to ending things. This is the Grim Reaper. Wow. And guess what? Because of that, they hanged the situation to dry because they couldn't even feel the pain that they were inflicting upon you and upon themselves. I mean, I, I can't believe this, like how it all connected like this. Wow, thank you, Spirit. Look at the spot on the deck. Hiding your true self, okay? So your person is so used to this pain addicted to the drama that they lost touch with who they really are. They lost touch with what they feel inside because now their heart became artificial. It wasn't even real anymore. Anything that they would say to you was fake because they were used to being in this facade. So that's why you couldn't trust them. You really couldn't trust them at all. Wow. And this is number this is number 14. And look at this. Right below that says, I won't cry for you. That's talking about being artificial. Artificial heart operating out of their ego. Okay, so 14 and tarot is temperance. Okay. And like I was saying earlier, your person needed to be balanced. They were unstable. Okay. And that's why the unicorn's here because I feel like spirit is saying don't lose hope because this person is going to finally use their intuition to trust their soul, their their um, higher self, and they're going to finally be balanced. Temper their energy, and they're going to 
that there's going to be hope here that this person is going to finally come out of this stage, come out of this fa facade. Okay. What else, Spirit? What else do you want us to know? Mosaic. Let chance play its creative role in your life. Wow. So, yeah, I feel like Spirit is saying that this is actually the 18 is for the moon. So the moon is about releasing um, your your shadows. You're doing shadow work. And in this picture, she's releasing like parts of herself, the fragmented energy so that she can come back and be whole. So I feel like Spirit is saying your person is going to have to let chance play a creative role in, in order for them to get out of the same old routine that they've been doing, you know, this pattern that they're stuck in. And that's how they can finally evolve. Wow, look at this sacrifice. What can you let go of? Okay. And this has to do with the emotions. Old belief systems, right? Merge with the flow. Okay, so your person needs to sacrifice this old belief system and, and finally face their emotions that they need to, instead of being this addicted person to old patterns, they need to like face their shadows so that they can finally let go of those things. And be able to be whole again and have a whole real heart and not artificial. Okay. So let's get some last messages in the shadows. What do they want to say? What do they want to say, spirit? I wondered how far this would go. Okay. I feel like even though you made your person happy, they they were not sure how far this was going to go because they were already thinking negative. Look at this. Bottom of the day, they're saying we are more alike than I admit. Okay, so I feel like maybe you guys were mirroring each other. Maybe you were being a little bit guarded and pessimistic about the situation too. And so remember, like attracts like. So if this is how your person was feeling, you probably had parts of you that were also doing the same things that they were doing. So take that how it resonates. Look at this. I was careless with you. Exactly. I mean, we saw this. This person saw that they had a potential with you, but they just got scared because they saw the potential. They're used to abandoning things when it gets good because they, they just are used to being corrupt in situations with, with relationships, and they just bail. And they know that they were careless with you. Bottom, bottom of the deck here says your body language says so much. So I, I feel like they know that you felt a lot towards them. That they could read your energy, like your body language. But they were still careless with you. They were mainly um, thinking negatively the whole time. Maybe not like consciously, but subconsciously they were. What else, Spirit? What else do they want to say? I want to tell you so many things. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that your person knows that they have a lot of baggage that they've held on to. And it's hard for them to be vulnerable and actually come out and tell you, like, the reason why I ran or I escaped our relationship was because I always think somebody's going to take you away from me. And they don't want... I feel like a big part of them does not want to let you know how much they care for you. So that's why they avoid it because they don't want to look, feel like they're, they're overpowered. Okay. This is why this is here. They don't want to feel vulnerable. They don't want you to know that you have them like that. So this is what it is. They, they really want to tell you the reason why they're being so cold but they know that if they do, they're going to also reveal that they really do care about you. And a big part of them doesn't want to do that because then they'll, they'll feel like you are the one that has the upper hand. Look at this. I couldn't tell you face to face. Exactly. So they couldn't tell you face to face what they wanted out of this because 
they themselves couldn't even interpret it or like process it because they knew that if they told you how they felt, they would have to face you and, and see the reaction in your face. So they knew, you know, I, this is them working out of their artificial heart. Okay. Keeping things on the surface. Um, so therefore, if this person's not being real with themselves, therefore they're not going to be able to face you and, and see your face and your reaction when they're finally letting you go. So I feel like your person ghosted you. They didn't tell you face to face. They probably sent you a text, you know, the, they exited out the cowardly way. They just basically ended things with you and didn't really give you much of an explanation. That's what I'm getting here. What else, Spirit? One last message. What do they want to say? Oh, look at this. They're saying, I do wish you well. Okay, and this is just for now because I feel like your person cares about you. They don't want to wish you ill will or anything like that. Um, they know that they were not ready for your connection when you came along. They still look at you as somebody that's very alluring, very beautiful, but it wasn't anything to do with you. It was they had a lot of things that they were addicted to that they needed to resolve, which they may still be dealing with that before they can come back and, and face you. Look at this. Next time I will listen to my intuition. So. To me, this is saying they know they're going to come back, okay, because they want a second chance with you and they want to let you know that next time they will listen to their higher self, okay, instead of hiding how they feel, how, the, how much passion they had for you. This red is for, you know, the root chakra, about the sacral chakra, just really being passionate about you. They felt like you were a mirror reflection of them. But they weren't allowing themselves to cry for you or feel anything. See? They just weren't. Look at that. They were blinded to the pain. Okay? And we saw that earlier. They're addicted to the pain. They, they were not even feeling the pain. So I feel like it's going to take them some time to finally feel the pain to be able to face, you know, why is it that they think so negatively about relationships? And, and only then that's when they can finally come back as a whole person, not a cracked cup and have a whole cup to be able to step into their emperor energy and give you the love that you deserve. Okay. Look at that. Right below that says, I can still see you standing there. So, so they know that deep down you still hold a space for them and they really want you to know that. I know you're still waiting for me to come around. And they want you to know that next time they will be more careful with your heart because they'll finally be in touch with pain. They'll, they'll be in touch with their own heart. They'll finally stop being cold and stop escaping and face, you know, face reality. Okay? So... Let's get one last message here from this deck here. This is my love and tragedy oracle. And let's just see what needs to come out. Last message, please, spirit. Wow. Complimentary opposites. You stir my soul, she said. You calm mine, he replied. Hopefully you guys can see it because it's hard to see these. Complimenting each other. By way of being unique and different, like dark and light, they cannot exist without each other and go together. Combining in such a way to enhance or emphasize the qualities of each other or another. Wow. This is beautiful. So, your person knows that you guys complement each other. You guys are each other's other half. And... They want you to know that they will come back. They just need to do a little bit more healing, more growth to be able to face you. They know that they need to be responsible and loyal to you, that this is their duty. It says here, they serve as a role that most of the friends and relatives cannot fill to provide a very different and possibly more enriching emotion that one feels they want to have someone under their care. So they feel like they're very uh, submissive. 
It says here, submissive and dominant, give and take, guide, mentor, support to protect. They know that they need to be those things for you, but first they need to be that for themselves, right? They need to be able to, you know, surrender to um, healing, to peace and harmony, to understand why is it that they have these negative beliefs it's like they have to go through another tower moment, right? So they can break down what's in their psyche. Like, why do they think they don't deserve a relationship? Why do they feel like somebody's going to take it away? I feel like your person has abandonment issues, okay? Something happened in their past where they were going to be with somebody or it could have been something in their childhood. But somebody took it away from them or took that person, something happened where this person was taken away from them. It could have been, you know, relationships crumbling. But I feel like your person decided when that happened that they'll never love again. That they'll never let themselves open up again. Because they hurt so bad from that situation. Oh, it's going to make me emotional. But, um... I can feel their emotions. They um, they got hurt really bad. So, you guys, yeah, your person, your person got hurt really, really bad in the past, and and I feel like when they found you, they felt so much love towards you that they felt traumatized. Is what I'm getting here, that they were gonna lose you. They were like they were gonna lose you like they lost that other person. Whew. So I really um wasn't expecting <laughs> to get this emotional. Um but yeah, I can I can feel their emotions. I'm an empath, so I can I can feel so much pain in this person. Um and I can see in this reading. I can see why they um, did the things that they did, okay? So I hope that helps you guys really gain some clarity on this is something that was that had nothing to do with you guys. Nothing that you did, nothing that you said was wrong. It was all them. You know, like they say, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> and in this reading, it applies because it wasn't you, it's them. It's them that needed to heal. And also, I'm getting here that you also needed to heal too because you probably also had abandonment wounds. Okay. Whew. So, I really hope that helps you. <laughs> wow. Um, I don't really get that emotional in readings, but... Um, this one took me by surprise, okay? So you're going to get through this, okay? I hope that this helped you guys. Let me know in the comments if this is your story, if it resonated. Let me know if you'd like to see readings like this, just to kind of give me guidance on how, what you guys would like to see on my channel. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, definitely do so. Um, send me an email. I'll put the information down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!